Everybody knows that our favorite toothpaste is CET, the vanilla flavor, and it's because the dogs really like it. It's clean, it doesn't smell like dog food. It smells like vanilla. And so this is our favorite toothpaste. Then we showed you recently that we're really into the Chris Christensen brushes. And these are the slicker brushes. And these are the three sizes. We have the one, which is the extra small. We have the two, which is the small. And we have the three, which is, um, I wanna say the medium. So the medium we don't use very much because it's for bigger dogs, so we will use them on bigger dogs. And these are the slicker, the slicker brushes that are really soft. Um, for the blow drying, we will use this, the sm extra small, and we will use the small. They're really well made. They're made in Germany. You can buy them on Chris Christensen and chrissystems.com, or you can find them on Cherry Brook, um, and I think Rumors Pro also carries them. So you can find these online. Now, another brush that's really cool is the Chris Christensen um, pin brush. And these are the T print pin brushes. They are uh, very soft, so the dogs really enjoy being brushed with this. And as opposed to the slicker, the slickers are good for blow drying and they're also good for detangling. They're very, very good for detangling. The pin brush comes in two uh, pin lengths. We have the 16 millimeter, which is this one. The pins are very, very short. So um, they're good for the torso if you have a short body, but if you have palazzo legs, the 16 millimeter pins would be too short. You would, you're gonna wanna get the 27 millimeter. This is um, a new one. It's not a treat case. And you can see that the 27 millimeter would be better for the legs because the pins are much longer. And the way you would use them is, br is brushing sideways. So for long coats, you would want to use the 27. For shorter coats, you would want to get the 16 millimeter. And you can see um, the size difference is quite significant. So again, these Chris Christensen brushes are made in Germany. They are uh, very, very good quality. And I think a lot of people think that just because the slickers are metal and um, well for sure the pin brushes they will not hurt um, at all you can rub it on yourself and it's actually quite therapeutic uh, the slicker brushes can hurt if you get them if you get a corner the slicker brushes is you want to make sure that you're not rubbing against the skin but if you want and the way to do that is to hold the brush where your finger is touching the pin brush and so when you use it, you'll know where your hand is, you'll know where the skin is. If you're using, say, the pin brush, you'll use it on her body. And what you'll do is you'll spray, okay? And then you'll put your hand so that you know where the pin is. And then you'll brush against the skin. But not putting too much pressure, but as you can see, she's not objecting. And when you do the legs, oftentimes, if there's a mat, you'll want to use a slicker brush and you'll go against your hand. And again, you'll go against your hand. It's not going to hurt them, believe it or not, because the pins, as long as you have your hand as a gauge so you know where the pins are so that you don't dig into their, you dig into their skin. But, this is really, really good for detangling. So I highly recommend the Chris Christensen uh, pin brushes for pin brushes as well as slicker brushes. Pure Paws also has a pin brush. Um, if you compare the pins, they're going to be the same length as these 27 and 27. I want to say this is 27 millimeter as well. This is one of my favorite brushes um, as far as 
pin brushes goes, it's very heavy weighted. Um, it's it's very good quality. And this brush I've had for I want to say four or five years, and it's still in very good shape. I really really enjoy this brush. One of our ever other new favorite things are these um, little gizmos that we found on Amazon. They are rechargeable nail nail drills, and we still like using the cat scissors on the nails to for long nails, but for drilling them down, this is way safer and way convenient compared to the Dremels. And I actually don't use pet Dremels. I think pet Dremels or even the Dremel, the normal Dremels are just way too heavy. I like using the the ones, the Dremels that you can find on Amazon for um, acrylic nails, um, those kind of drill, nail, and we've shown you before in our videos. But this, I pu I've put those away because these two have replaced uh, all my other nail tools. Um, I don't use anything else but these and my cat scissors. And what you want to look for is you want to look for rechargeable for one. You want to be able to recharge by plugging into a USB port. Um, you want to find something that has a cap uh, and that way it will prevent the hair from tangling and getting caught. You also want to find one that has um, this 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 uh, diamond bit um, drill. And so you plug it in, you turn it on, and the dogs know what this is. <laughs> Who wants to get their nails drilled? Um, they're, they both work really good. I, I would say that this white one is kind of cool because it has a little bump in the middle and the bump keeps the nail from sliding, torquing into the center. Um, and so I really like this one. It's, it's a little, the white one is, a, it's a little smaller than the black one. Um, and the way the black one looks, and I'll take these off for you, the black one has a divot in the middle. And so the nail just kind of detorque in the middle, but it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. One thing I did notice is the power difference between these two. This white one is a little weaker. Um, it doesn't have as much juice and power as I would say in the black one. The black one does drill down the nail much faster. Um, so it has more, more power, horsepower, if you will. So if you have a lot of dogs like I do, then I would, um, or if your dog's bit bigger than seven pounds and has thicker nails, I would go with the blacker one because it does seem to have more power and will save you some time. If you have little tiny dogs that are four or five pounds and if you only have one dog, the white one is fine too. But you can't, you can't go wrong. There's a, there are a dime a dozen on Amazon. There's a million people selling them. And so I would just get the best deal out there um, that you can find and um, just make sure that there's no batteries. You don't want to use batteries, you want a rechargeable battery. So this is probably one of the coolest things, um, the newer things that I've tested recently. So I highly recommend these. Okay, my next um, thing that I will share with you are top, top knot bands. And um, we um, have had a hard time finding top knot bands, and so we have brought in our own. We have um, we have top knot kits that we are putting together for our friends, and this is the fluorescent kit where we just fill it with top uh, uh, bone snaps, and we fill them with neon uh, top knot bands. We have many many shades of pink because pink is very very popular. So we've brought in some of our favorite shades of pink and, and um, you can find them on our website but the reason why we like these um, these are thermo uh, uh, urethane, thermoplastic urethane top knot bands is because they're super stretchy they stretch out really nicely um, for instance you can see here I'm going to focus on Tweety Got her? Okay. So you can see on Tweety here, we um, have put in a bunch of top knot bands, and we really like mixing colors. So if you have long hair like Tweety does, you can put in neon, like this is the neon yellow. 
they stretch out so nicely. These top knot bands, they stretch out, but they retract really nicely too. And if you, um, for example, if you have pinky here, if you see pinky, is this pink? Yes, this is pink. We'll bring pinky forward again here. So pinky here, she's had this top knot band in. The reason why we are very particular about top knot bands is because we do not like them to mat. So she's had this in, and what we do is you can just either slide it out, they slide out really easily without causing mats, or you can use the end of a steel tail comb and you can just pull these out. And so we really, really like these top knot bands because they are super soft and super stretchy and they will not, they're latex free and they will not cause these massive mats. And um, if you have long hair like Pinky, it actually helps keep her hair clean by adding in a bunch of, if you add it every half inch or so, it keeps the hair from, we're just putting different shades of pink now. <laughs> this is a pearl pink. Super stretchy, they're easy to work with. They retract really gently. They're non-abrasive, they're non-latex. And you can see all the different, you can see all the different colors in her hair. And and then, you know, this will stay in for five days or so and I'll just pull them out. They don't cause mats and they don't break hair. We really don't like break, break, uh, we don't like hair breakage. We've tested a bunch of other top knots, for example. I'll show you some um, that we used to use in the past. We used to use these, um, I think a lot of people like to use these ortho bands. They use them for braces. These are really little and you can see people on making YouTube where they have to use their teeth to pull these apart. They're super stiff. I mean, they're really hard to work with. And if you feel the texture of these ortho bands, and these are latex, most latex, most ortho bands are latex, you can see it's cutting the circulation off. <laughs> it's not, it, it breaks hair and then if you miss, um, they'll pop. So I don't, I don't really like latex ortho bands. I would not recommend them at all. Okay. Um, these are some other bands we bought. Um, I think these are non-latex. I don't know. I think they were labeled as non-latex, but they're they're um, they're really fat, and they're they're little and they're super stiff. They don't stretch out. Say like the. If you compare the, the thickness of these two, I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Can the camera pick this up? The thickness and number one, they're really, they don't stretch out whereas these ones, they stretch out so nicely so they're easy to work with but they also retract. These are our, our TPU bands. So um, I don't recommend anything that looks like this not good bands. They'll break the hair. They're super hard to work with. Um, you can buy bands at Claire's. We bought these at Claire's. They're not a business. I know. <laughs> we bought these. You can buy human hair bands and they look kind of like our TPU bands. They look kind of they look kind of like our TPU bands but when you touch them they're they're stiff and they're sharp and they actually will cut the hair. So I would not recommend the human, the, the things that you can find on, on um, in human sections. Now these are looming bands and we, in five years ago I think we talked about looming bands. And looming bands were very popular in the toy department. They were kind of cool. They're rubbery, they're more rubbery hair bands and they're fat and they do work but they are thicker and they do cause mats. So if you um, are looking to use these type of looming bands, um, they work, they work really good. They're a little bit bigger. They don't retract um, tight enough but they also, they're kind of fat. They're, they break hair and they tangle and so I wouldn't recommend 
I would not recommend looming bands. And then these are some other ones that we bought that are online too. And these are super fat and they're super stiff and they will tangle hair. We've, we've tested a million. We have garbage bags and bags and bags of all kinds of bands that we wasted our money on. And so finally we just decided to bring in our own bands. We have lots and lots of colors. And one of my favorite colors lately is pairing these these red bands um, with like what Cozy's wearing here and she's wearing a red we brought in these rect rectangle hair clips and the red bands are so pretty on her hair right Cozy? so pretty so we have these snap clips everybody knows us for our bone snaps which we've had now for five or six years but we've we also um, very popular in Korea are these comb snaps and while I'm showing you these um, people have asked when they buy these how do you use them so I might as well just do a quick until the battery runs out so what we'll do is we'll put a little black one in for a little Dolce and what you do is you you snap the comb open and then okay, you comb comb it into the hair and then you snap it shut and it holds the hair baby and then we can put one into Cozy's hair we'll take out the red or we can put both in snap it put it in and that's what a red would look like and then Tweety, Tweety's wearing a purple one We'll take it out and show you. It's literally a comb, so the comb stays in for days. So we'll comb it in, comb it up, and then snap it shut. And that's it.